I'm very curious about the background that actually like got you into that mindset to to discover Bitcoin early and actually start contributing to it. So uh, how would you say, how did you get into the free software ethos? Oh, free software. You know, I think that, that probably, uh, I, I, I have to go trace it all the way back to a, a family member who uh, told me about Linux, actually, way back in high school. And, uh, you know, I, I think from correctly they'd seen it in a Wired magazine article or something, and they just said, hey, the, uh, this kind of looks cool, like, this is all this fancy software stuff that's just like the commercial stuff. And at the time, that was really the only practical way for, uh, you know, 13 year old kid to get their hands on, uh, on Unix. So that's really like one thing led to another. I mean, I wouldn't, at least for that introduction, I wouldn't say it had anything to do with, you know, the free software ethos or anything. I think it's a, that was a very pragmatic thing of, well, how do I get access to interesting software for free? And, you know, it worked out. And as much as that kind of sounds like, well, you know, shareware could do that and so on, I think what makes that free software ETH special is they just figured out the right incentives at the time, you know, with the GPL to actually make that software production scale. Aha. So for you, free free software is about writing, uh, you know, big project works uh, at scale. But, But why is that? Can you go more into it? Well, to be more clear, I'd say free software is, you know, it is about rating that, you know, that ecosystem at scale. Because from my point of view, as a 13 year old boy, (laughs) way back when, that's what made it possible for me to kind of get into this stuff. You know, it's, it it made it, it made it interesting. 